This is Gus. Gus is a 65 year old male. He grew up small town Alabama. No formal physical education class. Gus unfortunately suffers from, as you can tell, being overweight. He has diabetes and suffers from hypertension. He's trying to make up for lost time because he has four grandchildren and he is trying to keep up with them. This is Gus's new trainer, Franz Ferdinand. He's a professional bodybuilder and he is about to get Gus back in shape. You see that? I'm gonna pump you up! Hello, guys. How are you? Uh huh. You know right where to pump it up? Yeah, yeah. Do you stretch? Warm, probably? Ah, uh, he did. All right, go ahead, man. Uh. Oh. There we go. Push it up. Push it up, man. Make sure you breathe. Here we go, man. You're doing great right there. Push it up now, come on, come on. Okay. You're right. Go Netherlands. This is Gus, 65 year old male. Never had a formal physical education class growing up. Suffered from diabetes, hypertension. He also had four grandchildren. This is Gus, now deceased. Uh, hi, uh, good morning. We are doing an emergency board meeting to uh, try to decide if we're going to take PE out of the curriculum because of uh, how long the state board has uh, passed it down to us that we are under proration and we have to cut some of the uh, classes that are, you know, basically not filling where they need to be at the time. Um, for one reason, it's, uh, you know, no kids these days are not really caring. They're just sitting in the classroom, just sitting in the gym, just sitting there. Um, the other one is our teachers are just, coaches are just sitting there. Roll, they'll roll out a ball. So, um, it's costing us too much for this. So, if we're going to ask a vote here in a little while, if we want to keep it or if we want to take it out. Do you have any questions about anything? I have something to say. If, if you don't mind first. May I? Yes. All right. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I have 10 statistics here that prove that we need a physical education class. Okay? First one, according to the Center of D Disease Control and Prevention, 16% of children, over 9 million children, 16 to, uh, 6 to 19 years old, are overweight or obese. Over 9 million. Number two, according to the Center of Disease Control and Prevention, over the past three decades, childhood obesity rate has more than doubled. More than doubled. Number three, overweight adolescents have 70% chance of becoming overweight or obese adults. That's number three. For obesity, associated annual hospital costs for children and youth more than tripled over two decades. The cost of it is over triple, ladies and gentlemen. Number six, national guidelines recommend 150 minutes of physical, acti physical activity each week for children and 20, uh, 225 minutes for older children. Illinois is the only state that requires this. Illinois. There's 50 states in the U.S. Illinois is the only state that requires 225 minutes. Number seven, nearly one-third of U.S. children ages four to 19 eat fast food every day, resulting in six extra pounds per year per child. Six pounds a year on fast food. Number eight, fast food consumption has increased five-fold. Fast food has increased 
five-fold. Number nine, for children born in the U.S. in 2000, the lifetime risk of being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes at some point in their lives has estimated to be about 30% for boys and 40% for girls. So you sitting here today have a 40% chance of having type 2 diabetes. And number 10, type 2 diabetes accounting for 8 to 45% of all pediatric cases of diabetes. 